In this video, we are going to talk about usages of NumPy where function with four examples. So please stay tuned. So let's talk about usage number one and example number one. Here we have imported NumPy as NP and here we have defined a one dimensional array called X. Suppose that we want to determine which values are greater than or equal to 0.5. In order to do so, we simply type np.where and we should pass the condition that we are searching for. We are searching for the condition X greater than or equal to 0.5. And now if I store the results in a variable, let's say called results, and here if I print the results variable, and if I run the code, you can see it says one, two, three, which are the indices. As you can see, the index of this one is zero, the index of this value is one, the index of this value is two, and this is three. So it says that values at indices one, two, and three have this condition. I mean, they are greater than or equal to 0.5. And now let's talk about usage number one, example number two. Here we have defined a two dimensional array, which is like a matrix. And we want to determine which values are greater than six. So we simply type np.where x greater than six. And we put all this stuff in a variable, let's say result. And here I simply print the result variable. So if I run the code, you can see that here is the result. And it shows the indices of the values which have this condition. As you can see, the values which are greater than six are these three values, which the position of this seven is at row index two and column index zero. Eight is at position row index two and column index one. And nine is at row index two and column index two. Now let's talk about usage number two and example number one. And we want to check a condition. If a value is greater than or equal to 0.5, then we are going to replace that value with one. Otherwise, we are going to replace it with zero. So we simply type np.where and we should type the condition. If x is greater than or equal to 0.5, then we are going to replace that value with one. And otherwise, we are going to replace it with zero. And we put all this stuff in a variable, let's say called result. So now if I print the result variable, if I run the code, you can see that this value has been converted to zero because it is not greater than or equal to 0.5. But these values have been converted to one because they are greater than or equal to 0.5. And this example is very useful in machine learning and neural networks because there are some cases that we want to convert the probabilities into zero and one, like this example. So here is usage number two and example number two. And here we have defined a two dimensional array. And you can see that we are saying that if the value is greater than six, we are going to consider the value itself. Otherwise, we are going to convert it. We are going to replace it with zero. So if I run the code, you can see that values which are greater than six have not been changed, but otherwise the values have been replaced by zero. 